Welcome, Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here on 726. I'm Dan Reynolds, and over here is, uh, what's her name, Ann Limley. Howdy. Welcome. You're festive today. You got your autumn colors on. And... I do, and although this will air after Halloween, today uh -huh. is Halloween, yep. and I wore the pumpkins in my ears. Are you and... doing anything ghoulish? N no. Okay. I know that a lot of people... Uh, there, there's a trend throughout the country this year that uh, a um, zombie is the thing to be. I know, and, and that, I don't want to be a zombie. Yeah. And there are places around the uh, around the country where they have zombie block parties. Really? Neighborhood parties where what they the neighbors all get together and they dress up as zombies and they kind of hide in the bushes and when a car Excuse comes me. by they'll they'll zombie out. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Oh, you just made that up. Just didn't a little you? no, a little tidbit of information. Well, it came from somewhere. I'm not sure where it came from. It could have come from the dark hollows of my mind. It could have because could you're have. kind of demented that way. I am demented. I'm going to look that word up because I don't know what that means. <laughs> kind of like cloistered. <laughs> cloistered. Yeah, last, last week it was cloistered. Did you look it up? Yeah. I did. Well, you sent me the d definition. I looked it up. Yeah. Because I you, didn't want you utilizing well, a word that you really didn't well, know what it meant. Actually, last week you said that's like sequestered, which is basically it's, it's kind, kind of is. the same thing. Mm -hmm. So there. if you're zerd, cloistered, or oystered, or cloistered, or, or sequestered, then it's separation from... Right. The group, or I think you're cloistered because I think it's a separation from reality. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not you sure. You need to be cloistered away from me. I need to be cloistered. Whatever. Football season's almost over. It's over. Dan, I sat at the eighth, F, 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 hello at the stadium. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of like <laughs> I watched scary, football from 4:30 yeah. till 10:30 last night. Okay. There was oh. two seventh grade games, which they lost. Mm -hmm. Sad. Eighth grade one and ninth grade one, but yeah, we got done around. 10.30. Yeah. So, That's, but it's over for this season. Yeah, good. And then next year. No basketball? My kids don't play basketball. Well, we may go watch them. But. Well, now here at the station, we've been doing uh, Game of the Week, and we cover a, a high school uh, football, or cover a, a high school, uh, we cover a high school game in our viewing area. We oh, pick yes. those, you know, to... Uh, and uh, the, this weekend, I think it's actually tomorrow night, Thursday, will be our last game. We'll, we'll be, going, be going to go to Salem. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to Salem. You know where Salem is? It's, it's way the east. heck away from here. That's like 100 and... No, it's, no, it's not 100. So you it's will travel, too, to Salem? If they need me. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. But we've been doing these games live. We're, we're having a, I think that's great. having a fun time with them. we you got, we got equipment that we have to fine-tune and... Get better and things like that. You're okay, <laughs> but now we, we're going from this week to next week. We're going right into basketball. So we've got you're uh, busy. Uh, they're basketball, busy. Basketball's more involved because you have girls' game, boys' game, ah. and you have these little tournaments that go on for days at a time. So we're having we're having fun. Uh, and you're talking. Fun, you know, I said it's not really a monologue. That's what we call this section of our show a monologue. Mm -hmm. But it's not really a monologue because there's two of us. <laughs> Dan said it was a trauma log, and I don't know what he exactly he meant like that, but you're well, causing me some trauma right at the moment, trying to it? spit all that information okay. out. Well, you haven't had your mouth moving for the last, what, 10 minutes? No, so exactly. It, it gets stiff. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. You know, we've got a big show. We've got a, a full show today, and we're going to go get right to it with all the guests that are around on the show. Is there any announcements we need to... No? No announcements? I'm not, the, I, I'm not aware of any. Okay. Okay. Right. First up, we will have Jack Baker. He is here to talk about bragging rights hamburger cook-off that's going on in Eureka Springs. Glad to have him on the show. We also have Johnny Strain and Larry Davis here to talk about the second annual Vets for Warriors. It's a charity rally and veterans parade, and I think it was successful last year, so mm -hmm. here they we'll are find again. out about last year's event. Yeah. We will have Daryl Horton here to talk about the ca upcoming Khaki Spectacular. It's a, a special Veterans Day show. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be... Two different dates. We, I'm going to say her name right, Ginger Schoenberger from the Boone County Library will here, we'll be here to talk about upcoming events. And rounding out the show, we have Dave Fitton with CORE to talk about an upcoming event that's taking okay. place. Stay with us. We'll go to break. And when we return, we'll have Jack Baker with us.